What's going on YouTube? Individual Gamer here. Welcome to our first episode of the reboot of FIFA 21's career mode with Salford City FC. So guys, this is what it looks like. We have got no transfer window till January. We have uh, international offers available if we want to. Transfer negotiations, uh, the strictness will be strict, so it's going to be much difficult. The financial takeover, our new owners, uh, co-owners should I say, has given us a cash injection of 50 million that is going to be spread over the next five seasons and see if we can make it back. Uh, we've also been given a new stadium in the game, you all know. If you have played with Sulphur City, they don't have this, so you have to change it. And I've changed it to this beautiful one called More Lane as well. Um, guys, it is going to be difficult. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said in the in the update video previously, uh, I want your guys' input of who we should sign and so on and so forth. Uh, but today's video is going to be a short, sweet introduction to our Salford City career mode once again. Uh, let's get straight into it. We'll take a look at our new manager. Maybe we might do um, this time a pre-season. I know last time we didn't and we just focused on training. But I think it will be important for us to do a quick pre-season. Maybe face some opposition. So um, yeah, let's get straight into our Salford City Career Mode FC Take 2 Episode 1. So here we go, we have some invitations for our pre-season tournament. Uh, we have the European Shield, European Interna International Cup and the Champions Trophy. So the player, the teams that we could face, uh, Northampton is one there in Lincoln City. Um, we've got some Italian teams on this one. Um, and on the next one, we have some German, Portuguese teams as well, and a Polish team. We have Crew and Swinton from our Liga, uh, a few divisions above as well. So well, the one with the most money is obviously the European International Cup. Uh, it's also a bit difficult, but um, I think this one will actually be pretty good. We've got a taste of what inter international, like some Italian teams would be like, and maybe we might get some ideas. So I think this one is okay for us. So here we go, straight away. Salford City um, future bright with James at the helm. Uh, that's what we look like. We'll take a little bit more detail in that. Let's take a look at him. So that is who we are. Um, and we've got our first fixture as well uh, against Morecambe. So that's going to be our first fixture of the season um, of League Two. Uh, Salford set, uh, City set to join the elite. Uh, the deal is done. Takeover ha for Salford City has been agreed and supporters will wake up this morning to the news that their club is among the wealthiest on the planet so that means guys with our financial tycoon that has injected this amount of money into the club for the next five years um we are gonna sign some okay players so already uh some people obviously we've not got the transfer um window open but we can have a look at that so at the minute our managing status is uh level 80 um a rating is 80 so that is okay we'll take a look at the mail um we've got the youth academy support uh the visions and expectations uh we'll take a look at that in just a moment our assistant manager and the scout as well alfie uh, webb so um we'll take a look now at the expectations of what the board the overview is to reach round 32 of the FA Cup I think that's possible win the league um, and finish the season with a profit margin of 135 million in the bank um, basically obviously winning the league probably winning the Papa John's trophy uh, which is the EFL Cup and obviously the Carabao Cup might actually help the success of that but youth development we've got none uh, brand expo uh, exposure keep five clean sheets at home I think that should be uh, pretty easy to do financial obviously that one domestic same again and obviously we've got no continental success because we're not in any of those European competitions just yet um but yeah, the short term is got to be the win the league and get to that round of the 
Emirates FA Cup. Um, maybe we could go into the last 16. Who knows? Depending what the draw will be. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what that is. Let's take a look at our team uh, quickly. Um, I like to change. We have obviously Burgess, but, but I like to change uh, the formation. Uh, it's going to stay like this, but I like to have it narrow. Uh, just like this. Um, and then I like to just move it so it looks like it's a 4-2-1-3 a formation. But it, it actually isn't. Um, it's just like this. So the players will be on there. We've got Hunter, Andrade, Henderson, Burgess, um, Denny, Lau. Um, obviously, we need a right back, which I think we have. If I take a look, uh, there we go. We'll try and find our strongest side at the minute. Um, we have obviously boy Darren Gibson, an ex Manchester United player. Um, but I will be signing, trying to get players on loan from other teams, maybe buying those like um, Liverpool young ones like Harvey um, Elliott and also like um, the United like Tunzebe. Maybe like trying to get those or Dan James. That is one player I do actually is on my list of most wanted. Daniel James, I think he's amazing um, at the game. But um, a striker partner, like another striker, maybe a cam player. We'll soon see who we can afford. Well, um, in January, I don't want to spend all that money straight away because what's the point? I want to make sure that we can have it over the next five years, uh, next five uh, seasons, uh, next five years, depending if we go. So if we win the league this season, that'll help us um, have get get the momentum going. And as soon as we go into the Premier League, we can go big and spend on those big players, and we should have the money stacked up. Um, so you will take a look at that. You for you first staff. Let's take a look at this. So at the minute we have Hugo Atkinson. I'm sorry, my friend, but you are now fired from the club, and we're going to hire some excellent, and I mean some excellent talent. So we have a Scottish guy called Shane Fraser. Um, he's going to be straight there as well. We're going to get um, Albert Linster from England. And I think they, them two are going to be okay for us. So, obviously, I'm going to send one person um, to France. I think we can get some good talent from the French leagues or around that area for the next six months. There we go. And, obviously, we'll keep Albert in England and looking for that amazing talent. Anybody, really, whoever it could be, start our youth um, academy up. We've already got a couple of players here, so these are what they look like. The 17 and 15. These two can easily go straight into our... Um, oh, he looks familiar. Um, these two can easily go straight into our team now, but I'm not too sure. We've got a Turkish player, uh, so uh, Siberian and Peru. Um, so, guys, we're, we're going to make sure our youth is okay. Um, already, you can see this is what we have. We only had 50, 50 million, and now if I make it so it's like that, we have just shot them forty million to last us for the next five year, uh, next five years. So obviously, the the scout that it comes up with is some players here, you know, that we could get um, that they think we might help us. Same here again. Um. So, yeah, guys, it's going to be in oh, Liam Dillap. That's Rory and Dillap's uh, son. So maybe we could get him. Um, I just want to make sure this, this season is pretty good. So, obviously, the scouts have just been sent off. Uh, we're not going to be playing a game today, but we will take a look at the training uh, facility um, that we've got. Uh, we can have drills, set them up if we want. So I will get the drill going straight away. Um, and then we'll sort out uh, what we're going to do next. So after that training session, uh, we managed to get to the results of A, A and B um, across those ones. They do change. We will have to get into those. Uh, but this is what the training situation is. We're going to train, rest, train, rest before a game. Um, depending on someone's games are going to come thick and fast uh, for us. And um, we have a, a player's chat, a, a player, Ashley Easton, 
wants to basically say greetings boss on behalf of the whole team i want to welcome you to salford city so i want to say thank you very much but we've got the options of the future is exciting we've got plenty of work to do good to meet you too um i'm going to put the future is exciting because i'm excited to see where we can get this uh, team uh, I know some of the players that we've got now are not actually going to be with us in the next two seasons, possibly, uh, possibly even possibly the next season, depending um, on what money we actually can bring in. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is basically going to be it for today's video. Um, I'm going to just quickly just sim through all these. You can see if we don't play it, we get a D um, for that drill. So I will have to make sure we get the drills okay and this is the first one we've got to play against um, and this is what I mean we're gonna do the sim match not the quick sim and it's gonna be interesting to see what the um, how this team's gonna be playing so guys I want to say thank you all for that is tuned in for this first episode of the Salford City career mode once again if you are new make sure you do hit that subscribe button and um, turn on the bell notifications as well give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave your comments down below as well and uh, let me know what players we can get uh, where we should strengthen the squad and most importantly how can we develop these bunch of players we've got now till January so guys make sure you do let me know in the comments below what once again thank you for watching as always i'm individual gamer you guys are awesome don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you all in the next episode thanks for watching